What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got a quick little video for you. As you can see here, every time I get in my truck, my work boots always scuff up the side. So I decided to protect them. Uh, I couldn't get them out with anything I used. I may have been able to buff them out, but I decided to just get something to protect all four doors. So these I got off Amazon. They were $18 at the time. And I believe they came from China because they took two or three weeks to get here. They're actually very high quality, very durable. You could also get them in red writing. So first we're gonna clean the surface, a little bit of Windex, wipe it down, make sure all the dirt and crumbs gone. If you've seen any of my other videos, this is just a standard procedure that I do whenever I do any kind of adhesives. After we apply the alcohol, let it dry, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting our little vinyls so we can apply them evenly and try to minimize the bubble or just applying it crooked. So here what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the center and I'm just taking a little knife and I'm cutting it. I'm being very gentle with it and just cutting that surface so I don't dig all the way through the vinyl. Then I'm gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna find where it hasn't cut all the way through and I'm gonna lightly cut that through as well. You'll see why we're doing this later on in the video. Once you get it cut all the way through, peel it, make sure it's cut completely. And then we're gonna get on to applying the vinyl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle point and we're gonna apply one side at a time. That way we don't strip the whole thing of the backside and then end up putting it on crooked and have to remove it, put it on, remove it. So you're gonna take one side, you're gonna keep it lined up. You're gonna pull the one side off and you're gonna slowly apply it from the center outwards. I'm very anal about things being crooked. So it took me a little while to make sure that I got it perfect. Otherwise it would drive me absolutely insane. Once you have that center stuck, you'll go ahead and move the vinyl over and you're gonna slowly peel the backing while applying it. So you'll move the backing, apply a little bit, move the backing, apply a little bit until you get all the way across. But be sure that you're only doing this top portion and you're not doing anywhere further down. And now we'll just move on to the other side. We'll do exactly what we did on the left side to the right side. Be very gentle, be very patient, and just apply it evenly. If you do apply it and it has a bubble or it's crooked, you can back it out. Be very gentle with it, but make sure you catch it quick so you're not pulling the whole thing off because it can stretch the vinyl. So some of these pieces had this little tab that I didn't have to rip off. It's so you can maneuver it without putting your finger on the sticky part. I found it on the last one that I did. So you'll see in the video, the rest of them don't have it. I'm really not sure why, but it's actually an awesome idea. If you do see them on there, make sure you do use those. And now from here on down, you're just gonna apply it, go back and forth like a printer back and forth, slowly applying it. Make sure you get it in that little crease, push it all the way in that crease and then apply it over that little hump. And as you can see, I'm being super patient with this. You don't wanna end up with any bubbles. But if you do have bubbles, I'll show you what you can do later on. If you do have a heat gun or a blow dryer or whatnot, I like to use a blow 
blow dryer heat gun when I apply any kind of vinyl just so it sticks a little better. So once you're done, you can, if you have any bubbles, you can poke a little spot with your knife and then you can hit it with a heat gun. Usually that'll make the bubble come out. You'll just press that bubble out. And there you go. Super, super, super easy install. Just make sure you do it right. You're patient and you clean the surface. I've had these on for maybe two months now and I've had no issues with them whatsoever. I'll go ahead and add the links to everything I use in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I got so many more videos coming soon. Later, y'all.